Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Aurora's autonomous aerial cargo utility system successfully delivers cargo to U.S. Marines. Horsefly autonomous drone package delivery pilot underway in Cincinnati. And K2 Unmanned Systems releases law enforcement tactical drone. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AEVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. This month, Aurora's autonomous aerial cargo utility system successfully delivered cargo to U.S. Marines in the integrated training exercise at the Marine Corps Air Ground Combat Center, 29 Palms in California. AIC has completed its first closed-loop mission from takeoff to landing for its intended purpose of actual cargo resupply to Marines, as it successfully completed an autonomous cargo sustainment flight delivering more than 500 pounds of water, gasoline, MREs, and replacement communication gear, including a packed cooler to represent urgently required cargo such as blood. Aurora says that this is the first ever autonomous point-to-point -point cargo resupply mission, providing critical logistic support to Marines in need. The ACUS-enabled UH-1H helicopter was developed under the Office of Naval Research's Innovative Naval Prototype Program. The aircraft can fly completely autonomously thanks to a variety of technologies, including its onboard sensors, advanced computers, and intelligent algorithms to plan its trajectory and to select its own landing sites in unmapped and hazardous environments. The American Helicopter Society selected Aurora's ACUS program for its Howard Hughes Award in recognition of an outstanding improvement in fundamental helicopter technology, brought to fruition in the previous 18 months. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The a and crew had a ball at AUVSI's Exponential 2018 and shot a number of exciting Aero TV features on site. Textron Systems unveiled its new X555 engineering testbed. Textron Senior VP and General Manager for Unmanned Systems, Bill Irby, told a and that the X555 aircraft is a blended wing design that is powered by four independently controlled rotors. There are no traditional control surfaces on the aircraft. Check out Aero TV Textron's X555 thrust vectoring offers intriguing control modes on the Airborne Unmanned video channel at airborne-unmanned.net. InfraDrone LLC announced the release of their new Drone Pilot job app, available on both Android and iPhone app stores and via the web. Professional drone pilots are in demand as interest in drones is skyrocketing. All pilots registered on the network must be licensed and insured, and will have the opportunity to post the type of cameras and scanners they are carrying. Jobs will be matched to the type of equipment required by each client, ranging from simple photo video to HD, thermography, and even LiDAR. The Vertical Flight Society applauds the recent announcement by the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration that it will develop a small unmanned helicopter to explore the surface of Mars. The Mars helicopter, a small autonomous rotorcraft, will travel with the agency's Mars 2020 rover mission, currently scheduled to launch in July 2020, to demonstrate the viability and potential of heavier-than-air vehicles on the Red Planet. DARPA is progressing towards its plan to demonstrate airborne launch and recovery of multiple unmanned aerial systems, targeted for late 2019. Now in the third and final phase, the goal for the Gremlins program is to develop a full-scale technology demonstration featuring the air recovery of multiple low-cost reusable UASs, or Gremlins. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The Horsefly truck launched autonomous drone package delivery system is now making real-life package deliveries to homes in the Cincinnati area in a pilot program with the City of Loveland and the FAA. Consumers in select Cincinnati zip codes opted to accept packages from Horsefly via the Workhorse Aves drone package delivery app, 
which is designed to seamlessly integrate with existing online e-commerce platforms. The unique patented Horsefly system complies with current FAA safety regulations for drone package delivery. Currently, each package is delivered within the delivery driver's line of sight. Data from the pilot will provide essential insights into consumer preferences, as well as real-world evidence to support expanded use cases with the FAA. To date, the system has been successfully tested with UPS and an undisclosed large retailer and aims to provide significant cost savings by eliminating extra miles of driving to deliver packages. The Horsefly UAV delivery system is a custom-built high-efficiency delivery UAV that is fully integrated with a workhorse line of electric delivery trucks. The Horsefly system is designed to work with drivers to increase their efficiency and significantly lower the expense of last-mile delivery. Commercial drone manufacturer FlightOps and training company K2 Unmanned Systems has announced the release of the first American-made law enforcement tactical drone, the Nighthawk. The commercial-grade UAV is designed with first responder operations and infrastructure inspection in mind. Its high-pound payload capacity, infrared optics, and encrypted HD video downlink are just a few features that make it crucial for critical situations. The Nighthawk uses a closed-circuit system to ensure telemetry data is protected when performing flight operations and technical support is accessible anywhere in the U.S. K2 Unmanned Systems work in conjunction with IMT Vision Link to demonstrate interoperable encrypted HD video downlink technology. This transmission technology is fully compatible with regional agencies' large platform, fixed and rotary wing surveillance aircraft platforms allowing for dual use of current portable and mobile command vehicle downlink receive systems. The company is now scheduling demos for companies and key individuals that express interest in purchasing the new UAV. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.